Look into my fucking eyes, Darius Trucks and Keith Elwood from Gray's Road. <laughs> Keep crying, Queef! Keep crying, Queef! Keep crying, Queef! Keep crying, Queef! You guys just all saw right now Candace! Candace exposing Darius Truxton! I told you guys it's all real! I told you the deep pick story is all real! I told you, Queefy boy, little Queefers, 2772, I'm very sorry, Robert Domino's again. You know what the funny thing is today? Today is April 6th. Today is the anniversary of 2772. And then we have another news bomb dropping by Candace with her three-part video series, which I'm gonna link in my description so you can all go see for yourselves how much of a creep cock Darius Truxton. In relation to Darius Truxton, that involved sexual harassment, that involved inappropriate behaviors. And really is, little queefers, supposed to be going to African Boston Pizza to be washing dishes like a good little teenager does, queefy boy. Get your little good little teenager work, get your little minimum wage, and go buy your stupid little, little freaking weed shipment order from Herbal Life Express. But instead of actually doing your job, what are you doing, queefy boy? Staring at the server's black leggings in the dining area and because of that, just like Candace has said, harassed the servers, and then you got fired, Darius Truxton from Boston Pizza. How does it feel, Queefy boy, that the whole world's gonna now expose how much of a loser you friggin' really are, huh? You're friggin' hiring strippers to go with you to the Blue Jays game because you're such a friggin' creep incel that you need her around you to get the friggin' self-esteem support. Even that- But he also has a lot of very angry, ranting, raving, conspiracy, racist, women obsession style videos as well. Story is true. Every single story that we have told you about Darius Truxton is friggin' true. I told you guys two weeks ago that Queefy Boy is starting to say lies in his streams now saying, oh, this, this was woman that's obsessed with me. It's all lies. No, it's true. The Candace story is friggin' true. All of it. I told you, Queefy Boy, when he worked at Boston Pizza, friggin' crashed at Candace's place at night times for whatever, three months, and then he started sending unsolicited D pics to friggin' Candace, and Candace found out that it was him because of the stupid Genesis games in the background of the picture. All that's true. I have seen the friggin' text messages and D pics that Candace has sent to Darius Truxton. It's all real. Now you have Sierra Ear, some racist hot piece of trash prick in the friggin' comments section of uh, Candace's uh, YouTube page saying, well, I didn't believe all of this and I believe the shut up. Shut up, Sierra Air. That's what you get. I know what you really want, Sierra Air. You really want those D picks so that you can troll Darius Truxton from the back. I know you've always been a troll, Sierra Air. I get it. But hey, DJ Runnin', you might want to friggin' stop friggin' going to Queefy Boy's watch parties because while your wife is getting Tyroned, you're sitting here supporting some creep that's friggin' going all around creeping out women wherever he goes. Darius Truxton, the same guy who went on Final Fantasy XI online. He had been telling people that we were in a relationship, um, that my oldest child was his. Fine. And instead of actually going to the friggin' area of West Ron Fair to friggin' find Jazzy Jackrabbit to get that friggin' rare mantle, he's running around like a friggin' incel in the city of Sandoria, Bastock, and Winders looking for that next female character to marry online, pay the cheapest 20,000 gil package, and then after that, he creeped out that same girl on friggin' Final Fantasy XI online, which was probably James Campbell. Hey, Hey James, you're a man of God, are you? You're a reborn Christian, are you? You like reading your sermons, huh? How do you like this piece of news, huh? I want you to make a video right now explaining what you just saw with Candace's videos. I want you to friggin' uh, go after Queefy Boy because he's a creep. He's a man of hell. That's who Darius Truxton is. He's a friggin' loser that friggin' spent more time mourning for his two stupid dead cats, Roger and Cooper, than he did his actual dad when he was friggin' passed away. How did that feel, Queefy Boy? He just wanted to watch Star Trek with you, maybe get a little Picard and Riker lore going on, and all you wanted to do, Queefy Boy, is stick your thumb up your crack and on your friggin' premium futon in the basement and then watch Freddy Got Fingered 24-7. Hey, Darius Truxton. My wedding amiibos, see there's 
Here's me. There's Isha. And here's Ape and Eric. So he looks just like Big Fat Bowser. April 26th, the day you got fired from Franklin Empire by Level 1 Online. And what did you do to clap back? You rode your little pink tricycle with training wheels over to the docks of Hamilton with your stupid flood shorts, your dumb little double XL shirt that says property of the game chasers on it. And you cried like a little girl on the friggin' internet and talked about a Mortal Kombat review. Darius Truxton, the same loser that went to a friggin' game convention and he's sitting there at the Pat the Idiot's Punk Paddle. <clears throat> pick me, Pat. I want to play Balloon Fight, Pat. Pick me, Pat. Pick me, Pat. He looks at you and says, who is this incel cock with his M&M haircut and friggin' stupid little friggin' double XL shirts telling me to play friggin' uh, Balloon Fight? Shut up, Darius Truxton. You're a friggin' loser. You're a friggin' creep. No girl will ever like you. That's why you had to make up the story that you're friggin' going out with some imaginary girlfriend with two kids, going through a divorce, selling a house. What woman on this planet Earth will ever want to use her own gas expense to come over to 2772 Smell Manor where you're sitting there in a cat piss smelling freaking apartment with a stupid dirty vent that you haven't cleaned. It did not stop. This man continued in use to this day in friggin six years whatever since you moved in there and you, she's gonna come over and say hey queefy boy let what's what's on the menu tonight and you're gonna say two tv dinners there is no way in hell that's ever gonna happen queefers you have a friggin stupid little friggin litter box in your dumb washroom under the washroom sink smelling up all the smell matter robert's pissed off robert's gonna get more welfare checks and robert's gonna get friggin in tuned with all the information that's been exposed about you Darius Truxton there is no running away from this and you're a coward you thought you can do this drama one for one toe to toe we clearly found out that you can't do the drama because you had to ban the word slotham from your live chat because that's how much of a threat i am to you queefy boy i live rent free in your head every night you go to sleep in your stupid little cat piss smelling mattress you see that red mask right there and then i freaking enter your dreams create nightmares and i make you realize how much of a cuck loser you really are and how much you have lost this goddamn battle hey cyan razor cell genetic freak with a chin like buzz lightyear have you seen the story of candace i'm sure you have you have a thousand alt accounts that you go around trolling with you might as well see that it was very obvious that keith was sharing um details about me writing stories about me that weren't true telling people things that weren't true that story what do you have to say about it now cyan raise yourself but you know what you're a creep too you're a creep too that friggin aligns yourself with jared genesis some piece of trash that said it's okay to date a nine-year-old you probably like this stuff cyan raise yourself meanwhile you have your cell phone in your daddy father's name and meanwhile you're sitting at home as a dog sitter at an unemployed sack of crap that you are just like Queefy Boy. Queefy Boy has no job, no car, and no girlfriend. He made up the story about the imaginary girlfriend. He's in his mid-40s, Darius Truxton, and has not driven a car in his goddamn life. That's how much of a poor incel Darius Truxton really is. He's sitting there at home waiting for Apple One Agency to get him a call so he can get a sorry, pathetic carcass out of the goddamn cat piss-smelling mattress and then go to freaking the most disgusting warehouse you can find and East Hamilton down. Darius Truxton Keith is a sexual predator. He preys on women. He preys on the reaction. Town and clean turds out of urinals. Well, guess what? That's gonna be your life for the rest of your life, Queefy boy. No dental benefits. That's why you're walking around with yellow jacked up teeth, looking like some ugly monster. Meanwhile, Candace is gonna continue to friggin' expose you. She might come up with another video actually showing those text messages, which we already have, by the way. Hey, Darius Truxton, no running from this Queefy boy. You're gonna have to face this head on. Hey, Alt Account 1, the legend, did you see this story? Yeah, you did. On the same day as April 6th, the 2772, now we have another anniversary on April 6th, the day Candace came out and exposed Darius Truxton. Oh, I love it. It's Life is good. Darius Truxton is a loser. The snakes always win. The snakes have leverage over you, Queefy boy. We have intel everywhere. We always win. And Darius Truxton, you and the rats are the biggest bunch of sack of crap losers I've ever saw. And you know what's interesting about that there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet you me off my ass.